Hey Vikings, today we're just going to give you a quick overview of your assignment on practicing dialogue. Yesterday we began our narrative writing unit with some narrative writing notes. You should have written down the five rules to writing dialogue. Um, so if at this time you could get them out, it would be very helpful during this assignment. On the first few slides, you are simply going to add quotation marks where appropriate in black ink. If you would prefer to handwrite the quotation marks, that would be fine, or you may add a text box with the quotations. You can see that I completed number one for you. It's as simple as literally just adding the quotation marks where they belong. When you get to the fifth slide, starting at question number six, you're going to add quotation marks and the appropriate punctuation. So read the sentence and decide, does the sentence need um, an exclamation point? Does it need a question mark? Does it need a period? So on and so forth. Include both the quotation and the punctuation. The next little section, you are already have um, the dialogue in paragraph form and you will add quotation marks again. And then the final section, you're going to be able to use your creative side you are going to have a picture on each slide and you are responsible for writing one sentence of dialogue to caption the picture. One sentence minimum. If you want to add more, that would be okay. Just make sure you have one, at, at least one. So for this picture, we chose to use the caption. I hate to tell you this, but I just got a craving for chicken wings, the puppy warned. So. We had the quotations in the right place. We had an exclamation point because the puppy is warning that chicken he is about to be lunch. So the next five, you will see there are pictures that you will caption. Use creative thoughts, have fun. If you have questions, just reach out to us on Google Classroom. Have a great day.